them are they kind of where people who try to come into the country illegally get detained the places where if you cross the border and you're not a citizen um, the uh, immigrate like ICE will take you to a detention center probably like 50 or 60 I'm not sure I would guess around maybe 20 or so probably a few in Texas and a few in New York and California <laughs> maybe in like the south every year I'd say not that much I'm um, like 50 to 80 mil um, probably around, I would guess, 50 million. The U.S. has the largest immigration detention system in the world. With 205 facilities, the official detention network detains between 380,000 and 442,000 people yearly. The network of detention centers include county jails, privately operated facilities, and facilities run by the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, better known as ICE. Privately run centers make up an estimated 60% of detention centers. Immigration control in the United States has origins in the late 1800s when the first detention center opened on Ellis Island. Practices ramped up in the 1970s when there was a massive influx of immigrants to the United States. In the 1980s, undocumented immigrants were detained in centers located in both Puerto Rico and the United States. This ramping up of detention was not limited to just immigrants who posed security risks. In the 80s and 90s, key legislation passed to expand detention practices. This includes the Immigration Control and Reform Act, passed in 1986. It increased domestic enforcement measures within the U.S. borders. Between 1985 and 2002 alone, spending on domestic enforcement with regards to immigration increased from $1 billion to $4.9 billion. This includes measures such as border patrol, detention, and removal, intelligence and surveying activities, and staffing levels. Another law called the Illegal Immigrant Reform and Immigrant Responsibility Act was passed in 1996. This increased the allowed number of non-U.S. citizens placed in detention centers. Currently, under U.S. domestic law, any non-citizens within the U.S. may be detained. According to the Global Detention Project, in 2014, the Department of Homeland Security mandated that there be a quota of 34,000 open beds for detainees per day. At the rate to maintain this bed quota, the U.S. spends $2.6 billion annually to detain and deport immigrants. By law, immigrants cannot be detained indefinitely, and ICE is required to re-examine the cases of immigrants later for deportation if they have been detained for more than 90 days. In practice, the average wait time for trial in immigration court is 577 days and three quarters of all immigrants deported never appear in front of a judge. The average stay for any immigrant in a detention center is 31 days, but at the cost of $158 for each of the tens of thousands of people detained each day, the bills add up quickly. Our goal in undertaking this project was not to divide people on this issue, but rather to inform. Immigration detention centers affect hundreds of thousands of people every year. If you'd like to learn more, please visit our website.